Hello everyone, I hope everyone's doing well, I hope everyone's doing alright. Guys, today we're going to be doing a live analysis session and I want to be focusing on something very specific. I want to be focusing on something called the three drive pattern. The three drive pattern is a huge manipulation pattern that happens in the market. Let's talk about it some more. A three drive pattern looks this way. One, two, three drives through to the upside. After each and every drive, we have a breakthrough to the upside. So the first drive, then we have a break to the upside. Once we have a break to the upside, buyers are entering at this breakout into the market. So we're triggering buyers into the market. We're manipulating them into the market. After each break, we have a retest. So the first drive, break, retest, break, retest, break, retest. After each retest, we have people coming into the market, buyers coming into the market. Now, when a three drive pattern is also happening, what we have to the downside, this is the three drive pattern, we have a trend line linking all these lows together. So buyers are also entering into the market after each trend line touch. So you can see how buyers are being manipulated into the market. We also might form, for example, first drive, double top, second drive. So we're breaking double tops also through to the upside people entering into the market and of course after every retest as well so drive retest we might form a double bottom at it so drive retest double bottom drive so people are also entering at this double bottom and then finally the smc traders are entering out of every order block in that drive so break leaving an order block retest at the order block smc traders in drive smc traders in again drive SMC traders and again so we're entering at those two or three order blocks SMC traders are entering at those two or three order blocks buying into the market and this is how buyers are manipulated into buying a three drive pattern and then the market usually reverses after that so take a look at this video watch that video and see how a three drive pattern can be spotted on the screen see how i'm trading it and focusing on it during that uh, specific uh, trades during those specific trades what i want to also tell you guys is that all these pairs are analyzed from the monthly time frame all the way down to the 30 minutes time frame so monthly weekly daily six hours two hours and finally the 30 minutes time frame however i'm just showing you a glimpse and pieces of it mainly focusing today on the three drive pattern so let's get right into it okay one to three risk to reward ratio right here for your usd this is the next bearish setup that we have from this area all the way down it's high so it's another high right here so we are in this d2 setup headed possibly towards uh, that low we'll see how it goes this is the same as our gold trade right here so we'll see how they go we did in the mentorship program as we can look at what's happening right now silver is pushing and yuri sd is pushing as well to the downside as l to be at this point and then let's have a look at the higher time frame analysis of those pairs so what we can see here on euro sd it was pushing through to the upside with this push through to the upside let's have a look on what was the goal of that push the goal of that push right here was to take out this high on the monthly that was it this monthly high of monday to may 2022 we took it out with this push through to the upside we formed a new high right here on monday 2 january 2023 we took it out and then the market started moving through to the downside now if i go to the six hours right there to have a look at these highs as you can see as soon as we took out that first monthly high we slowed down we did the three drives pattern through to the upside one two three into that new monthly high right there that was the new monthly high where a double top has been formed so we accumulated traders to the upside as you can see we formed the double top right there we broke it through to the upside people bought we formed the double top right there we broke it through to the upside people have bought and then we melted through to the downside we accumulated all these buyers and we moved through to the downside and that was why i had a bearish label let's say on euro sd for the higher time frames now what happened on a zoomed in perspective i think we can see it more in the two hours 
as you can see right here now we have let's first start with the six hours right there we have a three drive pattern through to the upside one two three into this high right there taking out the liquidity above it and then starting to move down and on the two hours as you can see that was the high and what we did to take that high we did the three drives pattern as well one two three taking out that high right here and then starting to move it through to the downside into this liquidity right there as you can see we have trend lines we have bottoms we have order blocks to the downside lots of liquidity through to the downside so from a higher time frame perspective let me repeat again what we did is we took out this monthly high right there slowed down to the three drive pattern took out this monthly high took out this double top accumulated the buyers right here with that three drive pattern and then melted the market through to the downside now what we are doing right now on a micro perspective is we are doing another three drive pattern through to the upside taking out that high right here and then starting to move through to the downside now if i look deeper into it on the two hours time frame we can see that the market formed this high and then we did a three drives pattern through to the upside to take out that high and then we're starting to move it through to the downside there all right guys now as i go through to the 30 minutes time frame to look at what's been happening right here as you can see that was the high that i was talking about where the three drive pattern happened as you can see we have lots of liquidity through to the downside one two three touches of that trend line we have this double bottom right here and after this double bottom we have this order block right there after the market impulsed through to the upside what we did is we took out that high right there and then we're starting to reverse where i sold into this liquidity right there so let's see how this goes for silver what we did right here as you can see the market was pushing through to the downside forming these highs forming these highs we broke through to the upside right there so we convinced traders that we are in a bullish scenario we just broke structure we broke it impulsively as you can see through to the upside so you need to buy at this order block for example or at this uh, trend line through to the upside or at this I don't know double bottom right here so we convinced traders to buy we also have double tops right there as you can see that we're broken through to the upside we convinced traders to buy after the break of the structure and then the market started continued moving uh, through to the downside so we accumulated all the buyers right here we did the three drives pattern as well one two three took out that structure right here took out these highs and then moved through to the downside from there so that was why i was bearish on a uh, silver for that move now looking down into a more micro perspective right here we can see that the same thing is happening on a micro perspective as well what we did right here is we did a three drives pattern one two three into this high where a double top was existent we took out this double top right here we broke it through to the upside told traders to buy and then we are switching over the market through uh, to the downside now going down to the 30 minutes time frame let's do this going down to the 30 minutes time frame right here what we can see is you can see the market took out this high right here and then started melting through to the downside and in my humble opinion will continue mel melting through to the downside to take out these lows uh, right there so let's see how this goes so guys as you can see here for yuri sd it melted through to the downside took out all this liquidity through to the downside for silver right there the same thing happened it melted through to the downside took out all the liquidity down there i took by the way this gold trade as well posted it on my instagram and as you can see it melted through to the downside took out all the liquidity down there now guys today i'm not trading the reason for that is that the market is in an impulsive state, which I doubt that many pairs will offer us any setups. And therefore, it is not worth my time today. And this is something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about. First of all, this is where I updated the guys about all the trades. Let me show you the gold trade, for example. That was uh, the entry for gold. Now, right here, I told the guys that I'm not trading today because the market is in an impulsive state and therefore barely any pairs will offer us any setups, which is not worth a one hour live analysis session of my time. And this is something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about is that a professional trader knows when to walk away. Okay, I took my wins yesterday. 
I see that the market today is not in a state where I'd like to trade it, so I walk away. And this is what leads to your success. Not all the trades that you take, but all the trades that you avoid, all the days that you avoid when the market is not behaving in a good manner because you avoid your losses and therefore your win rate increases. And this is what leads to your success. So with that, I leave you guys. Feel free to subscribe, notifications, uh, anything that you'd like to do on YouTube, all this YouTuber stuff. And for my socials, the link is in the uh, description. See you soon, guys.